Today I'll be replacing this cooling temperature sensor in a B5.5 Passat with the 2.8 liter V6 engine, so stay tuned. So one of the first symptoms that I noticed was that the temperature gauge was not working. Even if the car was driving for an hour, the gauge would remain at 90 and would not go to 190 in the middle. And this happened before the check engine light came on with the P0118 code. So if you notice that your temperature gauge is not working, your coolant temperature sensor might be going bad. First I'll remove this plastic cover that's held down by screws and then I'll remove this air box. This part of the air intake is in two pieces. I'm gonna remove the back, then I remove the front that's held down by three Phillips screws. I'm going to remove this 10 millimeter bolt. This will allow the air box to move around and make it a lot easier to remove the twist on hose. I carefully pull to remove this sensor that's held on by a rubber clip and then I disconnect the two sockets. I loosen the hose clamp and I remove the intake pipe. The idea is to remove the top half of the intake box. So I'm going to pry away these four clips and then I'll remove the twist off hose. So to remove this hose, I'm going to carefully twist it clockwise and pull and it should come out easily. And this is where the sensor is located. I'm going to use a long flathead screwdriver to carefully pry away the clip that's holding in the sensor. Once I get the clip to loosen up a bit, then I'll remove it by hand. And this is what the clip looks like. If it's cracked or broken, it should be replaced but in my case I'm just gonna reuse it because it seems to be fine and now I'm gonna remove the sensor and then I'll remove the socket it will be a lot easier to remove the socket that's connected to the sensor when the sensor is out
As you can see this sensor was a bit gunky so I carefully cleaned out the sensor hole with a sharp cloth. And this is what the new sensor looks like compared to the old one. And now I'm going to install the new sensor. And then I'll basically reinstall everything else in the reverse order. After installing the sensor, I check to make sure that the clip is actually holding down the sensor. And this is what it should look like after the clip and the socket is installed onto the sensor. I reinstall the top portion of the earbox, the twist on hose, and the four clips. And then I reinstall the 10mm bolt, the intake hose, and the hose clamp. And then I reinstall the rubber clip and the two sockets. I reinstall the three Phillips screws and the two parts of this section of the air intake. And the last thing to install is this plastic cover. Alright, that's it for this one. If you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing and thanks for watching.